I might have bought a bit more yarn. Oops. <laughs> okay, hi everyone. Welcome back to this channel of crafting, crochet and knitting and apparently spending more money than I have on yarn that I don't need. My name is Nikki. Uh, how are you guys doing? As always, let me know by leaving a comment down below. So turns out that for this week's video, I am taking the opportunity to let you all know that Aldi has restocked its yarn supply. Um, so for those of you who don't know, Aldi uh, is a UK, well, it's not just a UK supermarket, but it's a supermarket that in the UK we often find sells a supply of yarn. And during the summer, they've actually not been doing so. During the summer, they have put out a few crochet kits, tie dyeing kits, sewing kits, things like that, but no actual... Uh, no actual balls of yarn um, and I mean that's to be expected it's summer nobody wants to wear <laughs> wool or heavy acrylic and chunky yarns in summer um, but now that we are back into the autumn months yes they are restocking um, seems like this year they're going with sort of high hmm, high saturation hassles muted colours um, not really sure how to uh, how to put it, but um, they've got a few colours in, but nothing that really stood out to me particularly. Um, they have the standard, so it seems like purple is big on their radar this year. They had two different types of purple. Um, cream is back on the radar, so yeah, those you know, there's there's, there's colours. It's worth going and having a look. Um, for me, I am actually trying to destash. Um, so well, not de stash. Um, I'm calling it my stashless, stashless ish, 2021, um, because I'm actually I'm not trying to de stash. I like having a stash. I like being able to look at my yarn and go, oh, I've got the right colours. I can do this project. Um, but I'm trying to reduce my stash because actually it's taking up a lot of space. Um, and more than anything, there's so much yarn in my stash that I dug out for a video. Uh, probably many months ago now I'll link the video in the description I took it out for that video so I could show you all what I had in my stash and I've realized just how much yarn I had that I bought for a project that I never got around to making so my plan has been to project bust rather than stash bust if that makes sense um and I've made a start baby cardigans and you know autumn blankets etc are materializing but slow uh, slow going progress is definitely slow I don't have as much time as I used to um, and so I've been trying not to buy more yarn but there's a few things that I have had on my list of what I would get if I came across it so yeah when LD did a restock I did take a look and <laughs> um, one of the main things I really wanted was white DK and sadly that was not one of the colours that Aldi had in stock but they did have this really nice chocolatey brown and that is always good too I have lots of uh, toy designs for dogs and monkeys and reindeer um, that all use different shades of brown and I've actually previously only had like one shade of brown so yeah picking up some more brown was definitely ideal I didn't see any brown last year so yeah happy about that one so I didn't get the white but at least I got some brown so you can expect to see those designs at some point on this channel it's not high on my priority list I'm just glad I've got the stash um and then I bought some chunky yarn so a little while ago I showed you some cushions that I made with a purple chunky yarn. Definitely out of my comfort zone, don't typically go for chunky yarn, but I actually enjoyed how fast they worked up and actually surprised by how much I got out of that yarn. I think I bought two skeins of the purple and managed to completely make two cushions. I'm now wondering if I made a third, like I'm genuinely considering whether I made a third one or not, but failing that I made two two good sized cushions and had enough left over to make a laptop case and still had some left over so I'm definitely thinking that I, when I hold the cushion up to myself a few more stitches and it would get around my body so by the time I've got like one cushion one cushion and then just add some sleeves so yeah three balls of chunky yarn should make a jumper and I was originally looking for the purple or for the pumpkin spice that I've bought before as well. I made a cowl out of the pumpkin spice because I figured that those two were like 
close to colours I would enjoy wearing. And they were not sadly in the shop, but instead, Russell, Russell, Russell bags. Ta da! We have got two different shades of green. They're really not showing very well on camera. We've got a dark spruce green on this side and an emerald green on this side. Um, yeah, so on camera not showing it very well. The spruce actually does have a little bit of an undertone of the blue, so it does match the emerald in real life. It's not totally obvious on camera, but I got, you can see a bit more of the green there, because otherwise it's just a dark mass on a screen. Um, so hopefully you can see the undertone of blue maybe in it now. So this is the spruce. Um, I got two spruce and two emerald. I figured that it was better to get two balls of both colour because I definitely won't run out that way and I will have the choice of how I distribute the colour. So like the worst thing would be to buy two balls in one colour and then a third in a different colour and actually find that I ran out of the, the contrast colour because I didn't have enough of it. Um, <laughs> so by having two balls of each I can decide a little bit more ad hoc uh, what I want to be the main colour what, and where I want the contrast colour to be. So, you know, and, and it's fine. It just means I can make a bigger jumper. If I do have loads left, I can just make, um, I could make cowls, I could make hats, I could extend the jumper because I'm intended to do it as a yoke. So yoke is where you knit like a piece that will go around the neck. You kind of do a whole big circle, um, put it over your head and it folds down over you um, and then you split it off into a section for each arm and then a section for the torso. So I have the option to actually extend that torso and make it more of a tunic if I do have too much yarn. So I'm not at all bothered by the fact that I've picked up two in each colour. I definitely think I'm going to get through those. Um, so yes, that is all I bought, I was very good because like I say, I want to try and streamline my stash and I figured that going and getting loads of yarn is not going to work. Um, but I do, now that I've got more confident with making jumpers because of the baby cardigan and seeing how they work up, I do want to actually have another go at a, a yoke down jumper or cardigan for an adult. So I've been working on the red cardigan for a while now and... I've got to that point where I'm actually just really regretting it. it. It doesn't fit properly. I've tried to make some adjustments. I've got no idea what to do with the collar. I've already frogged that back again. The yarn is on its last legs because it's been frogged back so many times. Like you can always frog back work, but when you've frogged it back as much as I have, <laughs> it, it does it does lose a bit of its like fluffiness. Like it, it tries to maintain the shape of the original knit so you can kind of see it's got a little bit crinkled as it's been frogged back so that's not ideal um so i'm hoping that if i work on a yoked pattern instead i will have more luck really hope <laughs> um so that's what i intend to do i've got some aran yarn to do one with i've got this yarn now to do another jumper with um i'm gonna do plain ones I think I've got to the point where my goal of making Fair Isle Christmas jumpers for the two of us is firmly uh, put back <laughs> um, because I can't even make a jumper to fit properly. Um, so <laughs> that's the plan anyway. I've got I've got all this yarn. I have got some annual leave coming up, so I'm hoping to make some jumpers. Um, and as soon as they are made, you will be the first to see them, I promise. Um, so yes, until then, um, I hope that you are well, I hope that you are enjoying what is left of the summer sun, which is quickly vanishing, um, and I hope that if you are a knitter or a crochet or a yarn crafter that you are enjoying the opportunity that autumn presents to make some more stuff. So yeah, with that, I will see you in the next video. Bye!